Their presence alone demands your respect. You just don't see anymore the grandeur of aircraft like these, the stories and the history that's around them. I gotta tell you, every time I go into the Air Mobility Command Museum, I get goosebumps. <laughs> it's just, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, and I, I do too, to be honest. And even if you're not a history buff, just seeing the different aircraft that's housed there will get your attention. And how fortunate are we all that this gem sits right here in our backyard in Dover? Delmarva Life's Katie's really jumped on the opportunity to show you what you'll find there. Jimmy and Lisa, this does not happen often, but I'm at a loss for words because there is so much you'll find here at the Air Mobility Command Museum in Dover. I'm joined now by Eric Cherwinski, Deputy Director. I'm astonished at what you guys have here. Just tell us a little bit about what you guys have. Well, for over 30 years, the Air Mobility Command Museum's uh, presented and preserved uh, the history of uh, airlift and uh, air refueling. Uh, you know, with 130 volunteers here, um, we've done a lot of work in that time. Um, you know, growing from just one plane to the 35 aircraft that we have today, uh, it's been uh, quite the journey. So talk specifically about what's in this hangar here. Well, the hangar that you're in is Hangar 1304. It was originally built in 1944. It's the last World War II structure on Dover Air Force Base. And it houses some of our most historic aircraft, including the one behind you, which was the first aircraft that we actually got here. And uh, that aircraft has a very, uh, very uh, important history uh, that we have with it. Um, it's a D-Day veteran, uh, C-47. So uh, again, we have our oldest, amongst our oldest aircraft in here. And then the rest are outside. It's incredible. Share with us a little bit about Dover's history, Dover's role in World War II, this Air Force well, Base. Well, Dover, uh, Dover Air Force Base during World War II is the Army Airfield, uh, Dover Army Airfield. Wow. And uh, during World War II, uh, it uh, performed three missions, including uh, submarine, uh, uh, anti-submarine warfare, also trained P-47 fighter pilots, and also uh, and finally was an air ground rocket research center for the Army Air Corps in World War II. What I think is also incredible is you have all of this aircraft, but you also have exhibits throughout, throughout the museum. So talk a little bit about those. Well, we have uh, various exhibits that talk about the Air Mobility Command um, history. Mm -hmm. you know, and Dover Air Force Base it includes uh, mannequins, dis uh, artifacts. Uh, matter of fact, our museum actually carries over 7,000 artifacts. Uh, you know, and quite a few of those are on display. So we talk about the different facets, everything from uh, EOD, you know, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, um, to the history of the enlisted force here at Dover Air Force Base. There's so much you could find here. I mean, do people just spend the whole day here? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, for a lot of people, especially during the summer months, uh, we have what we call our open cockpit Saturdays. Really? Uh, every third Saturday of the month between April and October, uh, we open up all the aircraft. Uh, we're one of the very few museums anywhere in the world that can actually open up our aircraft to the public. So when you're here, uh, you bring your family and friends and uh, you can actually pretty much tour about 80 percent of the aircraft that we have. What do you think people are most surprised to see and learn? Well I think what they're uh, is, is number one size. I mean if you look at our aircraft uh, including the C5 Galaxy we actually carry some of the largest artifacts in any museum anywhere. Right. <laughs> uh, and and so we're um, and then uh, the fact that um, you know they come out and they can actually see inside the aircraft and I think it all you know and the fact that they can walk around and touch these aircraft you know, most museums are behind a, exactly. a, a wall or behind a fence. Here, you're going to walk underneath and around and actually get close and personal. And then be able to talk to our volunteers who, who actually flew and maintained these aircraft. Amazing. So you actually get first-hand stories when you're walking around, um, you know, yeah. the museum. And speaking of that, we're going to get up close and personal with a couple of these aircraft. And we're also going to have Captain Willie join us because he's going to be checking out the Huey you guys have outside, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So you guys are going to want to stick around. We've got a couple segments here in the show. It's going to be very exciting. Definitely stick around. Jimmy and Lisa, before I go, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you have a favorite piece of aircraft in this museum? It is absolutely an amazing place. Now, I have to admit, I think my favorite is, is the B-17 inside. Yeah. Because that was what my dad flew. Yeah. And, and he, he taught a lot of other pilots on that same plane. Or that's yeah. one of the planes that he flew. So, uh, yeah. Don't you wish you could have flown one of those? <sighs> 